Welcome to A Drink of Wisdom. Jay Wise and Nathan Drinkard, I'm your host, Cody Ward. Thanks for spending some of your time with us tonight. What's going on, guys? Let's talk some sports, baby. This is A Drink of Wisdom. off with some rapid reaction a lot of topics a little bit of time take it away drink yeah baby let's roll the nfl is offering free access to the nfl game pass from now until july 31st that's nice of them isn't it yeah yeah it is you know there's some tough times we're dealing with so you know why why there's a big lull in all the wild wild sports why not catch up on some games from years past you know that that'll help us a lot it's tough times Yesterday, the Brooklyn Nets announced four of their players had tested positive for coronavirus, including superstar Kevin Durant. Your thoughts? God, come on, Kevin. What we got? I mean, it ain't his fault, but I mean, hey, you got to get yourself in the in the headline somehow when you ain't playing ball. So, hey, uh, hopefully them guys get healthy. They figure it out. It sucks. Whoever made this coronavirus, go eat a bag of baby. Boop. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. The Titans have traded five-time Pro Bowl to defensive lineman Jarrell Casey to the Broncos. Is this a clear win for Denver? Yep, they only gave up a seventh-round pick for him. He's made five Pro Bowls in nine seasons. Yep, looks like a clear, clear win for Denver. After six seasons with the Eagles, safety Malcolm Jenkins will return to the Saints. Do you like this move? Yeah, man, I'm always about having that experience on the back end. And in the NFL, it matters more than in college. You, you want to have an experienced guy that's kind of back there aligned with the middle linebacker so they can see the field a little better, that they, they have less responsibility on the back end. So, And, and Malcolm Jenkins, he, he's a pro's pros. He's a vet, so I, I don't have a problem with that at all. The Houston Astros ace Justin Verlander underwent groin surgery yesterday and will be out six weeks. Your reaction? I almost flipped out when I saw this news, but then I remember the season's delayed for like two months, so eh, I'm, I'm not I'm not concerned about it now. The Bears have acquired quarterback Nick Foles for the Jaguars for a fourth-round pick. Should Mitchell Trubisky be worried? Absolutely. You got to understand this. Nick Foles has the second-highest cap hit now on the Chicago Bears. Now, it's a mile between him and Khalil Mack, but still, it's still the second-highest. So, listen, Mitch Trubisky, they didn't bring him in to be a statue. That's that, that's for sure, buddy. So you, you come out here with that same performance you've been coming out here with, you will be on the young bench of Ruski, and then you'll be a permanent backup. The Falcons have inked former Rams and Jaguars pass rusher Dante Fowler to a three-year, $48 million deal. Good addition? Yeah, I think so. They lose Vic Beasley to the Tennessee Titans. So you bring in Dante Fowler, who's been really productive the past couple of seasons. So, yeah, I, I think it's a good move. Kansas Jayhawks were ranked number one in the final AP poll in men's college basketball. Good for them, right? Hey, listen, if the season's just going to end up and you ain't got to really prove yourself, why not finish it number one? I take it. You know, it is what it is. The, oh, sorry. The 49ers traded defense alignment DeForest Buckner to the coach for a first-round pick. Who got the better of that deal? I like Buckner, and I think the, he'll be well served out there for the Colts. But hey, they get a, the 49ers get a first round pick for him. I gotta believe they'll flip that into more picks because they at this point they don't have a second, third, or fourth, and it's the defensive line for the 49ers is great. It, it's still gonna be great without Buckner, so I like this a little bit better for the 49ers. Last one, the Cowboys side defensive tackle Jared McCoy to a three year, 18 million dollar deal. So that's it, right? Cowboys in the Super Bowl? Well, absolutely not. Listen. They did. Uh, listen, you, you struck out on Byron Jones. Um, you, you lost Robert Quinn. No, it may be NFC championship. You, you got this thing going on with Dak. Uh, you can take a little more than bringing in old Gerald McCoy. Good pickup, though. It's a good pickup, but it ain't a championship pickup. All right. Well, that concludes today's Drink of Wisdom. I'm Cody Ward. I'm Jay Wise. And I'm Nathan Drinker. And remember, make tomorrow better than today. And make today better than yesterday. And you know what we're going to do. We're going to holler at you until next time. Baby!